Hey there, my Tea Party Squad. Welcome back to another video. So today is December 21st, and that means today is the first day of winter. And it is truly the first day of winter here in the South. So I wanted to share with you my winter bucket list and how I'm gonna be creating that. But before I get started with that, I wanted to welcome all of you who are new here to my tea party because I have quite a few who are new. So hello, please make sure you drop me a little teacup down below to let me know you're here, you're new, and just say hello to me. And that way I can shout you out down below in my comment section. So what I'm showing you now is my summer and my fall bucket list to kind of show you the different styles that I use for creating my bucket list um, for each season. And so I do want to do something a little different um, with this upcoming season, which is winter. Um, I did use the fall bucket list and I kept it down to a few items. So let's go ahead and see how I'm going to be creating my winter bucket list. So I found this beautiful scrapbook paper at my local Hobby Lobby. I love to go in the paper crafts section and I thought this would be really great to incorporate um, into my winter bucket list. And so this is going to be the main frame of my winter bucket list and I'm going to utilize this um, and decorate on top of that. So I'm really excited about it. So let's go ahead and see how this turns out once I trim it down to size. All right, so I went ahead and measured my um, classic size sheet to the scrapbook paper and I measured it and trimmed it down to size and it looks like this on the back and so I wanted it to be um, one full sheet on the front and the back so I had to cut two um, sheets out to the same exact size and double side tape um, each page and stick them together to make one page. So all I need to do now is go ahead and hole punch so that once I'm done, I'll know where to place my stickers and then it'll be ready to um, be placed inside of my classic size happy planner. So let's go ahead and get started. So the stickers that I'm going to be using to create my winter bucket list is from my friends at Lux Clever Crafts um, Etsy shop. I absolutely love their stickers. And so that's what my main stickers are going to be for this spread. I absolutely love the font of it, the size and all of that. So I wanted to go ahead and incorporate the circular journaling stickers into the spread to act as snowballs because, you know, it, you have to have snowballs in the wintertime. And because there are snowflakes in the background, I thought I'd go ahead and tie in that snowball in the back. So I thought that would be really cute and fun and keeping up with the theme. So you will see that throughout the rest of this um, winter bucket list. So let me know down in the comments section below if you are creating a winter bucket list or just let me know what is on your bucket list for this season. I would love to know. See, we have some similar things going on and maybe we can accomplish those bucket lists together and check them off together. So please make sure you go ahead and do that and then I will continue to finish creating my spread and let you know what is all on my list.
All right, so here is my completed winter bucket list. I absolutely love how this turned out. It turned out a little better than I thought. So I love this so very much. I wanted to also just notate all the time on my winter, on my seasonal bucket list, the beginning and end date of the season. That way it's giving me a time frame of when I need to complete these items. And one thing that I am gonna love about this is I'm actually putting down um, things on my bucket list that I already have plans to accomplish. And so this year I want to make sure that I'm being very purposeful with my plans and, um, being intentional with them, making sure that I'm actually doing what I, what I planned and what I say. And so for the back page, I thought I'll put like a little favorites, little part, which I'm hosting my planner events there. And I want to notate that. And so where it says making memories, I do want to leave that section kind of blank because I do want to add some photos of all of the bucket list things that I was able to do, maybe some highlights on the back. And so I'm thinking about doing like a DIY project, um, taking a trip, um, spontaneous trip with my husband. And so I just thought that this would work very well and I wanted to work with my plans. And that's something that I realized that I was not doing um, with my other bucket list to make sure that I'm putting things on my bucket list that will fit my plans. So, you know, I always have to go ahead and pop this bad baby in to make sure that it's going to look good and it fits and all of that. So it does. I absolutely love this. So if you enjoyed this winter bucket list video, please make sure you give your girl a thumbs up and please make sure to stay tuned for more videos here at my tea party. And if you don't mind, go ahead and check out a few of them if you like. I have a playlist available as well. And please make sure you stay tuned for my next video. I'll see you at my next tea party.